Hi there, how's it going? My name's Chris from GameStep, and uh, what I'm going to be doing today is covering something that isn't the most exciting of subjects, but on the other hand, it's probably one of the more important ones, especially if you're new to games development, and that is building um, basically a cohesive management system to actually manage what you're doing. Okay, so what we're going to be, what we're going to be doing at the minute is we're going to be using Trello.com, and we're also going to be using a document site, okay? So an online document system, something like uh, Google, or, you know, docs.google.com, or even Acrobat.com. Although Acrobat.com, I believe, charges you money. You can also use um, Microsoft 365. It's entirely up to you. There's a lot of options out there. At push, you can use this Notepad and just email documents to other people in your team. However, we'll get to that first. We'll get to um, that later, sorry, one first. So, important thing here is Trello.com, it's free. And this is the overhead one that belongs to 3D Palace. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to add a board, like so. And my new board is gonna be visible to everybody. And it is gonna be called Games Dev Project One, okay, FPS Shooter. So we know what it is. And there we go. Okay, so this is our um, board created. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to manage what's going on in our project. And it's going to allow us to do basic change management. Now, change management is important because we need to know, especially if there's more than one person working on this, what's been changed recently, what's been worked on, and what updates have been done to anything. Now, you do get change management software built into a lot of 3D software and game engines and things like that. But for most of it, you have to pay for it or learn quite a lot of complicated stuff, or both. This is going to keep it as simple as possible. This is kind of the old school way of doing things to a degree, and it's effective, so don't worry. But the important thing is that as long as you do this, you stand way more of a chance of getting to the end of your project. Because without this boring administrative stuff, then you're not going to know what you're supposed to be doing next. And if you've got a team, they're certainly not going to know what they're going to do next. Because at the minute, if you're the person in charge of the games development project, almost everything is in your head. There's hardly anything at all anyone else can conceive about the project. FPS Shooter, there's so many of those, do you have anything special about it? Exactly, we don't know. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to get rid of a couple of these boards. Okay, so I'm just going to archive this list off, and archive this list off, and this one here that says to do, okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to call this Documents to be prepared. Okay, because that's important. Boring, but important. And the first one we're going to need is the project document. Okay. Oh, didn't hit the two. And the project document is basically the one that's going to describe everything that happens inside our um, inside our game. To a basic level, okay, it's just like the high level document. Now, then, because I'm using Trello, and again, remember it's free, so that's great. What I'm going to do is, at the minute, it's only me in the organization, okay, so I'm going to put under activity project is assigned to Chris, okay, just click comment, then I'm going to click the assign button and assign it to myself, like so, and I'm going to put a due date on it and I can put when I need this document completed. So let's say I need it completed by Wednesday 12 and click save. Okay, now if I uh, add a checklist to this, okay, and this is um, subjects to be in document, and click add, okay, I can now add a checklist to this. So. Let me just add some dockets, add some points to this. Okay, so um, the first item, okay, is going to be the scope. So that's one scope of the document. That means what the document is for. 
otherwise you might forget. Okay, so that's added. Now two, project description. Okay, so what is the game about? What features does it have? Point out everything that the game has from weapons to anything that needs to be described. Okay, starting to get there, good. So what else can we add to that? Gameplay. Describe the gameplay. How does a game work? How do you win? Okay, it's all simple based stuff. Are there different gameplay types? This is all important stuff, okay? How does single player work? How does MP work? That's stuff that has to be added in. Okay, so after we've done that, and that's going to include everything, you know, for fall damage onwards, what about the actual characters? Characters. What are the characters? What do they look like? What are their motives? We want to describe if there are them enemies and other characters and NPCs if there are any. Okay, so we want descriptions of all of those. And that will do for the moment. Okay? So we've got everything in here. In gameplay, we'll have weapons, for example. So these are all the subjects to be in the document. Okay? So I can now click out of this and just click here and we can see now that our project document, in our documents to be prepared, there's quite a lot of stuff on it. So what I should do is add a list. And uh, this is Chris Active List. Okay, that's for me. Woohoo! And I'll drag that across. Okay, so I know that's for me. And I'm gonna add another list, call it for review. Years, and click add and even if you're working on your own find someone who can look over the stuff for you if it doesn't make sense to them then you know perhaps it's time to look over it again it's important to constantly have stuff that is being reviewed and looked at okay so this is how we start setting up our games dev project so our project document is here and once we have this simple project document we're going to be able to actually take our document and start preparing additional documents from this. For example, you know, who's working on what? So, in that case, staff. Uh, what needs to be built? Assets. What functions need to be made? Code documents, code dictionaries, things like this, okay? Don't be put off, but also don't be tempted to skip if you don't. Uh, you know, because it's going to make things so much more difficult for you. There are so many mods out there where something seemed like a good idea at the time and it just went nowhere. Okay? So hopefully this will get through to you. Right, so in the next bit I think we're going to look at actually putting together the project document. Okay? And we'll put together the project document for, in this case, um, my document, my um, project that I'm working on myself, which is Capture the Cake. So, until then, I shall see you in the next one, and uh, bye-bye for now.